Okay, I uh, just want to go over this uh, problem with you, uh, just give you a handle on how you might attack it. So basically, we have this robot, and we want to start the robot from the upper left-hand corner, which is right over there, and we want to end them on the lower right-hand corner, which is over here. And here's one way to look at it, and if you think about it like this, then writing the program turns out to be fairly straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to work our way through this array. Let's look at the uh, top left-hand box. Now, how many ways can the robot get into that box? Well, basically, it's going to start there, so let's arbitrarily call that one. All right? There's only one way that he can get into this box. Only one path to get into the box. It sort of, like, gets there. Right? Now, let's take the box immediately to its right. All right? In other words, this box right over here. How many ways, this, this box here, how many ways can it get into this, the second box, to the right? Well, there's only one way. Right? He can only go from the box to the left. So this box here, also, there's only one path. Namely, he starts on the left hand, right? He goes here, and then he goes into this box, right? So there's only one way to get into the second box on the first row. What about the third box on the first row? Since the only moves that are available to the robot are either going one to the right or one down, there's no way of getting into the third box here by coming down. He has to be able to go here just by moving to the right. So the, there is only one path going into the third box. Namely, start over here on the first one, and then go to the second one, and finally end up here. So the number, as we're writing in here, the number of ways to get into this particular box. And the same logic holds across. There's only one more way to get in here, and there's only one path to get in here, right? Because the only way you can go is to start on the top left and move across. Okay? Now, what about going down? What about in this direction? So, um, we start with a 1 up here, but what about to go to the second box? second box seems to be the same thing. There's only one way to get to this box over here, right? Namely, you're going to start on the box on top, right? And, um, and you're going to work your way down. So, one way to get in here. The path means starting up the upper left and then moving down here. What about to the third box on the left-hand side? Well, there's also just one way to get here. Namely, you have to start on top, and then move down, and then move down. And the same for all the rest of them. There's one way to get into this box, and one way to get into this box. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the rest of these boxes. Let's see this box right over here. All right. So how can I possibly go here? Well, I can, I can get to this box here with the green, either by going uh, from the box to the left of me, right? namely this box over here, um, or I can go from the box on top of me. Those are the only ways to get in. So it turns out that there's two ways to do it. Because if I come from the left, right, if I come in this direction, so um, there was one path leading in from the left, uh, and if I come from the top, there's only one path leading from the top. So therefore, the total number of ways that I can get into, get into the uh, box with the green is two ways, right? Uh, because I can come from the top and the bottom. And the way that I see this is, well, if I come from the left, there's one way to have gotten to that box. If I come from the top, there's one way, there's one path have, that led into that top box. So the total number of ways to do this is to simply add them. It's this, right, the one on top, plus the one to the left. So 1 plus 1 gives me a 2. And now I can work my way across in this direction. Right? Let's say I want to get to this box over here, right? to the next box here with the green. How many ways can I get there? Well, I can get there either by coming from the left or by coming from the top. Now, if I come from the left, I've got two paths. Right? There are two ways to go from the left. If I come from the top, there is only one path to get me into there, so the total number is going to be three ways. Right? Why three ways? Because it could be the two ways from the left or one way from the top, a total of three ways. What about getting to this next box here with the green? Well, I can either come from the left, right, or I can come from the top. If I come from the left, there's t three ways to do this. If I come from the top, there's one way, so it's going to be three plus the one. Right? It's going to be the three from the left, or the top was one, so it's going to be three plus one. It gives me four ways to come in here. And finally, the same logic applies now to the rightmost on the second row. How can I get there? I can either come from the left or from the top. If I come from the left, there's four ways to have gotten from the left. 
If I count from the top, there's one way to have gotten from the top, so the total over here is going to be 5. And we proceed in the, exactly the same way. Let's do the next row. If I come over here to this box, the second box on the third row, so I can either come from the left or from the right. If I come from the left, there's one way. If I come from the top, there's two ways, right? So I could have come into this box either using one of the two paths that got me to the top of me, right, this box right over here, or I can come from the left. There's only one path that I've led there, so it's going to be the uh, 1 plus the 2 over here, and that's going to give me 3 in this box. Now what about over here? So over here, right, this 1, 2, it's right, this new green one, I can either come from the left or I can come from on top. Well, there are three ways to come from the left, and there's three ways to come from the top. That means there's going to be six ways to get into this box. Now we look at the next one. It's exactly, exactly the same idea. This box, I could come in this direction, or I can come in this direction. So that gives me, there are ten ways to have gotten in here. And finally, uh, here, I... Right, we can do everything, the same thing we've done here in the other rows. So I'm going to add this and this. I'm going to get 4 over here. I'm going to get 10 over here. Why 10? Because I can either come in this direction or in this direction. I'm going to get 20 over here. And I'm going to get 35 over here. And finally, the last row, this gives me 5. Right? I can come from the left or from on top. This gives me 15. This gives me 35, right? 35 if I come 15 or the 20. And finally, this gives me 70 over here. So the total number of ways that I could have done this is 70 ways. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the way to approach it. Now, what about if you wanted to actually uh, write this uh, program? So you would do exactly this. Step one would be to fill in the border cells. So using a for loop, I just put ones on the left hand column of my two dimensional array, and I put ones along the top of my two dimensional array. All right, that's simply a for loop, and this would be row zero, row one, row two, row three, and row four, and this would be column zero, one, two, three, and four. And then after I do that, I've got to fill in the uh, ones in the middle, and I just do exactly the same thing. I simply go uh, row by row, uh, filling them in, adding the ones from the left and the top to get the contents of the cell. So from cell 1, 1, which is right over here, I work my way across this row, Right, and in each element, I add the one to the left, the number of paths from the one to the left, and from one to the top to get the value here, just like we did by hand. And then I go the second, the third row, and the fourth row, and the fifth row. Of course, remembering that in Python, uh, the rows go from zero to four, not from one to five, and likewise across. That is basically the insight you need to be able to solve this problem.